Please help me welcome a radio host, TV presenter, MC, and a star icon. An African social media darling. Boning Mathiba. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to John F. Kennedy International Airport. It's just a, a wonderful, you know, playground. It's got everything that I love. And I think it would be a wonderful way for me to introduce myself, I think, into America. So I'm not a social media star. I do not get my stardom and fame from social media. I'm an okay. award-winning media personality. Okay, perfect. Yeah. She's back. Uh, the ever popular Bonang Mateba is making her return to SABC TV in a two part special called A Very Bonang Year. Now, the special premiere will be on SABC One this Saturday. So, what can we expect from the vibrant Bonang Mateba as she joins us now to tell us more? Bonang, good morning, and thanks for speaking to us on Morning Live. It's going to be a pleasure. Good morning. <laughs> So first off, I'm curious, what's up with the pink stuff there behind you, the balloons and uh, it seems like uh, gift boxes and flowers, what's going on there? Yeah, I mean, you know, Sakina, it's a very big week for me. I am counting down to a very bonang year. So uh, the, this is a, a media drop box that I've been sending to all my favorite girls. So it is a bonang bouquet, a bonang candle, there's like a a blanket, sort of everything you need to watch the show on Saturday. Slippers, a blanket, a bubble bath, hot chocolate. So it's been quite the rage on uh, social media, on Twitter and Instagram. So I've been sending it out. And who, know, who knows, I might send you one right after this interview, actually. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'd be so, I'd be so lucky. But Bonang, great to have <laughs> you back on SABC. And of course, um, this is home, actually. This is actually where you belong. So uh, do tell us more about a very Bonang year, because we're under lockdown currently. So when was the shot? Well, you know, I'm always a girl with a plan. I love to uh, always make sure that I have a plan A and plan B. Very Bonangia was shot throughout 2019. We started late 2018, and it was going to be used um, as, you know, uh, some content that I was going to put on my YouTube channel. And then the opportunity presented itself when we uh, created the show. It ended up being such a world-class production. We thought we have to share this with the rest of the world. We just have to. We approached SABC One. I said to them, hey, I've got a two-part docuseries um, where I'd like to uh, just give people a glimpse into my world and what I do, you know, behind the scenes. And SABC One, you know, I'm an SABC One girl. They said, Kaya, Mugeli, we are, you're more than welcome. Because I wanted the show to be seen by as many people as possible. And I think it's only possible uh, to do that on SABC. A Very Bonanya is um, a docuseries. 2019 was the biggest year of my career success of my wine, the House of the UG. I um, hosted Miss South Africa. I traveled around the world, uh, won a global award in Prague, won another award at the e Entertainment Awards in Los Angeles. I was in London and Manchester. I shot a film, we premiered at the Manchester Film Festival. So 2019 was really a massive year. So we put it in a two part special, each about just over 45 minutes long. And yeah, it's just a, a, a really inspiring piece of content that I hope everybody at home will enjoy. And then, of course, you also say that you're hoping that this special will inspire girls and women to live their best lives, Bonang. So what exactly do we mean by living our best lives? Well, go, you know, going into August, and I think, it, as we all know, it's Women's Month. I love that I get to premiere this on the 1st of August. Uh, you know, women are uh, such a huge inspiration and sort of the decisions that I take. And I... I have always been about women empowerment, you know, through the Bonang Matiba Foundation. Um, it's also educating young girls. So I have a great, great interest in women, particularly South African women. And, you know, the way I live my life, how I um, um, 
you know, make decisions, the, the career choices that I make, it's always really involved around creating your own narrative. You know, I want to girls out there to realize that they can be what they want to be whenever they want to be. They can live a life that is, uh, you know, that makes them happy instead of society. So I, I have been just on a, on a, on a path, on a theme to how girls sort of, uh, feel great, you know, feel inspired, feel like they can do whatever they want to do, whenever they want to do it. And that's sort of the crux around a very Bonanya, just a young South African girl, who is living by her own rules and, 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 you know, finding a way to make all her dreams a reality. And with us, many of us, uh, all of us, in fact, living under lockdown at the moment, Bonang, um, what's it been like for you personally? Um, you know, I had a bit of a scare uh, during the week this week. Uh, I thought I was uh, feeling sick, but luckily I went to the doctor and it was just pure allergies. But I think I've been very paranoid, like everybody. Um, I live alone. I have no kids. <laughs> I have no pets. I have no one. But I'm also a cancerian. I'm a homebody. So I've really, really appreciated the time that I've had uh, to myself. Like I said, 2019, I was out of the country every single week, you know? Uh, but now I'm in my house, I'm relaxing. I get to meditate and pray and really uh, plan and listen to myself. I've learned a lot of new skills um, uh, and, I, and I, feel, I feel calmer. Yeah, I started off very stressed, but now I feel very <laughs> calm. You know, it is a new world, it is a new reality. I think all of us are learning to adjust. And what I've known throughout lockdown is that you might, I, I'm, I haven't been too hard on myself. If I don't want to work today, I don't work. If I just want to watch TV, I just watch TV. You know, I don't force myself to be productive because I think we're all going through, through it and we're all just trying to figure it out. Indeed we are. And you say you've learned some new skills. Uh, what exactly are some of those? What have you learned to do? Like, you know, I learned how to put on a lash, girl. I know how to put on my eyelash. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, that connection letting us down there to um, Bonang uh, wanting to learn more about what it is, what skill set she has developed uh, during this lockdown period and um, lashes. That, that, that's quite a thing because I must say, I, I can't do makeup to save my life. The only thing I can do is uh, to put on an eyeliner and a lipstick. Beyond that, I, I'm totally useless. Uh, but uh, Bonang is back, I believe. Uh, so, Bonang, uh, you, you were still telling us about uh, some of the other skills that you've acquired <laughs> yeah i mean i've been at home you know i've been baking i love to bake the other day i tried maguinha so um i've been brewing my own traditional ginger beer so it's all sorts of things i think every morning i wake up i go on twitter i go on youtube and i just try to fill my day with something cool you know but who are you making all of that for? Maquinha, Gemere, and then you are Bonang and you look like that. Who's eating? Who's tasting? <laughs> well, Samantha is the lady I live with. She takes care of me. My brothers always, you know, come around, although I don't see them. Um, they do drive-bys. My mom sometimes, my baby cousins, you know, uh, my security guards. If whoever wants to taste my food, just taste it. And what are they saying? I hope you didn't threaten them. Did they give you a, a, a true assessment? What are they saying? Well, so, you know, I don't know. Right? So I don't know if they're telling the truth or not. I know Khemereaka uh, is very, very delicious. The Maguinha and, I mean, what is it? Banana loaf, not so good. So I'm still going to try again and again. Well, um, I'll wait for you to perfect the banana loaf skills because that's one of my favorite things. Uh, but Bonang, if you have one message for South Africans living um, through this pandemic, what would it be? Oh, man, I think to young South Africans, it is such an, uh, a very scary time. It is um, uh, a very unfamiliar time. And I think we all need to try not be too hard on ourselves. I think um, I always 
try to stay very, very positive. You know, at the end of my head, at the back of my brain, I always say, everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. And although it might not seem like it is, I think um, your mental strength uh, is going to play a very, very huge role in the whole epidemic, you know, this whole pandemic. I think um, we need to stay strong mentally, try to be kind to yourself, try to take care of yourself, um, and the rest, just let it play out day by day, you know? Um, I think also the timing of a very Bonangye is so incredible because it's such an inspiring, you know, docu-series. It's going to take young people into their own brains to help their greatness. Uh, the world is changing, you know? We need to find ways of uh, making money, generating uh, money, using social media to generate income. Um, you know, creatives have to look at collaborations. People like me who work in the industry and entertainment, where now our whole industry has disappeared, have to be very, very um, smart in how they move their business forward. So I hope, you know, both of these episodes inspire young people particularly. I hope it lets you understand that the world is is uh, is has changed that you can't think the way you used to think that you can't approach things the way you used to approach things and that you uh, are going to have to change a lot of things especially for your young entrepreneur and i hope they watch it on saturday on the first and the eighth of august and i hope it helps them find their uniqueness their unique selling point and i hope they it, it encourages people to start because, you know, dreams are only dreams until you actually do something about them. So I hope it didn't, you know, it ignites the fire in every single person. It is such a, 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 a sad, hard, crazy time. I hope this show really just helps everybody smile, even if it's just for a couple of couple of minutes. You know, even if it just allows us to be voyeurs and live uh, through you for those moments, we'll definitely be watching. Thank you so much, Bonang Matiba, for talking to us about Thank her two-part special called A Very Bonang Year, which will premiere on SABC One on Saturday. All right, let's take a quick break.